Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Here we are, folks. The beverage we're going to be looking at is from the Starbucks Double Shot lineup. It's a newer one in the lineup. I had to go on a caffeine informer to get the caffeine content for this drink. And in their little write-up thing, they're saying that these are in response to Muscle Monster. So what we're looking at is the coffee and protein double shot lineup here from Starbucks. They have three flavors out at the moment. And this one here is the coffee one. Like many good things, it starts with rich, bold Starbucks coffee. We blend in milk for a smooth, creamy, delicious flavor. And with 20 grams of protein per can, it adds up to a great taste and combo that keeps you, you on your game. It's a 200 calorie drink. 20 grams of protein. So yeah. Oh, they put monk fruit extract into these drinks, by the way, folks. Doesn't seem to say out here that you need to shake it up. 2015 North American Coffee Partnership, Starbucks. So I'll give it a little bit of a shake. And then I'll just pour a little bit into a shot glass so you can see what it looks like if you're interested. I guess I maybe should have shook it up. It got a little bit splattered over the camp or whatever. So this is the coffee one. There's also like vanilla bean, which I guess would be like latte maybe, and then dark chocolate. And since that was caffeinated, I guess it's more like a mocha. They're all different caffeine content, but they're all the 20 grams of protein. This one is their highest caffeinated one in the lineup at 140 milligrams of caffeine. Really, it just smells like cold canned coffee. A lot of roasted smell, believe it or not, because like Starbucks, they normally like water stuff down and you don't get major flavor like some other companies. But the smell alone smells like it's not watered down like a mofo. Coffee's their first ingredient, brewed Starbucks coffee, but in brackets, water coffee. Yeah, just a creamy, sugary, really strong roasted coffee smell. And just basically like all those other coffee drinks out there that are cold and canned. Same creamy little brownie look. Brown look, you know. Like light brown, you know. So, yeah. Should just taste it now, right? Yeah, creamy and coffee. Alright, cheers. Medium thickness. Um, just a creaminess and a strong for Starbucks roasted coffee taste. Because, you know, their cold can and bottle drinks are used to them. Not this strength of roastedness. So it's a creaminess. A roastedness of the coffee and as I'm talking it kind of dries out and doesn't refresh but you get the protein and you get the caffeine and wow the coffee's really roasted and really strong in this Starbucks product holy crap and it dries out pretty quickly too so I don't think it's refreshing off those sips it just dries you out too much Cool to the protein, cool to the caffeine, but it's too strong. And coffee roastedness, and it needs more refreshing and what factor. So whatever. I guess the caffeine and coffee really stands out. Peace out.